here, let me show you another really cool feature. In the data selection uh, dimension, we now have a universal search for all data items, meaning that you know, gone are the days where you had to know the difference between a data element, an indicator, uh, event data item, a program indicator. All of those are shown here together and they're just alphabetized. Um, you can, of course, move in between them if you want, but now the user just really needs to know the name of the data item that they're looking for, as opposed to knowing the, whether it's an indicator, or a program indicator, or event data item. Makes it a lot more user friendly and, and hopefully makes people a little bit easier to find the data that they're looking for, and whereas they don't have to know exactly what it is defined in DHIS2 as. So I'm going to just search for A and C. And when I search for A and C, you can see that I'm having different data items come. Uh, you see that I have a standard data element here, uh, hover over it. You see that each one of these different um, data items has a different um, icon next to it, indicating what kind of data item it is. So it's a data element. This one is an indicator. If I scroll down a little bit more, you can see that I'm finding some event data items. Scroll down a little bit more, um, then I start to get to some uh, program indicators, and uh, I'm sure there's some data sets in there as well. Uh, 